Here we are on the first day of October, and we're here in the Jesus School in Philadelphia. And we just went through a class of eighth grade students who were doing the third investigation of heat. They were looking at how the heat from a metal block is transferred to the water and how much heat is transferred. So, but no amount of reading, no amount of describing how the program works is the same as actually spending even five minutes of watching students in the class. But the thing that you just can't predict is the types of things that will come up in the lab and the kind of decisions that the students have to make on their feet with the scientific equipment, with the timer going. And you can really see that there will be points in an experiment where all the students have to make a decision. It's not exactly what they thought was going to happen. And so they come together and they sort of formulate an idea or a hypothesis or a prediction on the spot. And it's so much fun when you actually see them change the experiment a little bit based upon what they're actually seeing happening. You cannot experience that any other way than being in a laboratory. And you can't observe it in students unless you have a hands-on curriculum. And this is the Jesu Lab Learner Science Curriculum, an integrated system of science education. And this is where it starts. In the preschool classroom, we're just keeping up with the students Keeping track of them is half the battle. Can I see this one? Yes, I'll pass them around. These are your lungs. They're in your chest like this. When you breathe, everybody take a deep, deep breath in. Take a breath out. That's these working. That's your lungs. They, they let your face. The yellow thing. The yellow thing. All right, we'll get to that. Here's the lungs. Pass it around. Everybody share. Can I see? Well, what I really think starting so young is kind of instilling in them that science is everywhere. And they, they don't, sometimes they're doing things, they don't even realize science. They're like, we were outside, they're picking up leaves, and they're like looking at the leaves, look at all the veins and leaves. That's science, and that's what you're trying to get across to them, that when you're looking at things, when you're doing little experiments. And of course, they're learning other things as well. Other very important things. All right, you were just telling me uh, about the different scientific equipment, and you yes. said something about beakers. Yes. Okay, so here's some glass. you got to be careful with these types of things? Yes, because they are easy to break, and this is a solid. Oh, it's not a liquid, right? No. It's a solid. You can put liquid in it. Okay, can I put gas in there? No. Why not? Because you can't see gas. Yeah, but what's in it right now? Gas. <laughs> so I can put gas in there, can I? Yes. All right. What is this called? This is called a graduated cylinder. Okay. This year? Mm -hmm. Because last year, when we first started, us now just having a lab, it was a little bit confusing because we were so used to just textbook, 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 but actually getting our hands on stuff, mm -hmm. I'm able to learn it better. Because last year, reading from a textbook, I get confused, mm -hmm. so I have to ask a lot of questions. But actually doing it is easier to learn. I see. I see. This is when we started talking, when Garrison and I, when we started talking, we were really interested in knowing what it means to think scientifically. Weren't we talking about that? Yes. Do you like science? Yes, I do. Why do you like science? Science is fun because you get to do a lot of things that it interests me. Like, it is not just sitting in a classroom writing and copying stuff that the teacher is saying. 
it's more like getting into it. It's more physical. Right. It's more involved. You're more involved in it. Yep. Do you like to think? Yes. I can see that. You you have to use your brain to answer these questions, didn't you? Yes. How do you process all that information? You got to go to your memory, I guess, right? Yes. And I uh, just think about it, and I apply to what I learned to your questions mm -hmm. to answer them. What would a good scientist? What way would they think? They How would they look at things? They would think like outside of the box. They wouldn't think as normal or as ordinary as some people do. And um, you would think like about things that you do in your life, then apply it to science and see, you would do experiments to see how it happens. Do you think you would ever want to be a scientist? Yes. Do that for a living and get paid for it? Yes. What kind of science would you think would be interested in? You could change your mind a million times, but right now, what would you say? If you could be a scientist, what kind of scientist would you be? Do you oh, I like them with space. Space. Like what? What part of space? Like outer space, like in the big world where it's all dark and you can't see anything. Yeah. And what's out there? Uh, what is planets, out there? Planets, stars asteroids, the moon, and astronauts. Now let me ask you something. Do you think there's anything out there we don't know about? Yes. Who's going to find that out? I will. <laughs> I believe you.